guys. This is the small one. Guys, when I was just a child, my mother was praying. The world be different. Listen, I thought I had some acetone, but I Therefore, put on the full arm of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Family, you must walk with the full armor of God on a daily basis. May God be your protector, your coverer, and your shield. Have his word hidden in your heart. That is the full armor of God. And family, if you're not walking with God, you're walking with the devil. And if your God is dead, come and try mine. Okay, guys, let's get into this recap of this artwork because we're about to get this artwork right. So this is what this artwork looked like. Stay tuned to see what I turn it into. Okay guys, here is the artwork. So I sprayed it white so that I can get rid of all that glitzy stuff that was going on with it, okay? And now, what I'm doing is I'm using yeah. some acrylic black paint. As you can see, my paint is finished. <laughs> because I used most of it when I was doing the larger um, piece. So, I'm just using the brush. And I'm trying to make this the brush not as wet. You want to work with a more drier brush. And the reason for that is because you want to try to incorporate all the colors together. And it's very easy to incorporate the colors together when you do it like that. So I'm just like kind of putting the color where I want it. Squeezing it out of the bottle. And then I am not wiping my brush off. Okay. I'm just going into that color now. And I'm merging everything into it. So that's why you're seeing a hint of black getting in there. And then over here with the white again i did not clean the brush that's the important thing to get that nice gradient look is to have a basically dry brush and don't clean it after you've did every color merge these colors into each other and it will give you this beautiful gradient that you're seeing appearing here so this is how it's looking i'm kind of second guessing it because it's going a completely di different direction than what i wanted you guys know what the inspiration picture was i will pop it in here and you're gonna see we have gone a completely different direction however i am liking this but it's it's taking me a long time to warm up to it so i'm gonna need you guys opinion in the end so i decided to go in and kind of take a little bit more of the brown out and add some cream in there so it's going a lot of different directions okay guys i wanted this to be very clean and this is not clean <laughs> Um, I'm creating a whole different look here and I don't know if this is what I want at all. Um, uh, yeah, this is creating a whole different feel. Yeah, this is a whole different feel. I'm gonna let it dry down. And, um... I'm gonna see what's gonna happen right here with the black. I'm not worried because I have white. I can always just paint this whole thing back white. Just leave my little bit of brown that I was trying to create. Um, being that the other painting is a complete black painting, uh, I don't want to do too much with this because then it's gonna take away from it being very modern. And I want that modern look. So. I'm going to let it sit, um, I'm going to like stand it up right over there and I'm sitting in, while I'm sitting in this living room watching some TV and I'm going to keep looking over at it, that's what I do so that I can continue to um, study it and um, while I'm doing that like my mind is putting it up on the wall and seeing how that is going to um, transfer for me. So yeah. So let me put this to, let me put it to, in, in, when you're looking at stuff, you want to look at it the way it will be. So it will not be flat like this. It's going to be up like this. So I'm going to put it to stand up like this and keep looking at it and 
so I can see all the different shadows and dimensions that's going to come off of the piece while it is in, um, while it's in it, the, the, the position that it will be in. I'm not saying this is not pretty. What I'm saying is that it's, um, it's starting to go in a direction that I wasn't expecting it to go. And I, I'm not sure if I like the direction that it's going. I'm wondering now that I'm here looking at it up like this, if this creamy part up here is too creamy. Um, so I'm wondering if I need to probably add white up there instead. But I'll see. I'll keep looking at it. And um, I'm gonna I'm have it standing up like this, and I'm gonna keep looking across at it to see how I'm feeling about it. Okay, so I'll let you guys know what my final on this was. A part of me is telling me that I need to make this a solid black and not how I have it. I think that's what's messing this whole painting up the fact that this is not a solid black. But let me keep looking at it and I'll get back to you guys and let you guys see what my final on this was. Okay? What am I doing today? So right now I just washed my hair. I trim my ends as much as I could. They need trimming some more. But I can't like see to the back to get them trimmed. So I'm doing that and now I'm here working on, on this wig. I'm going to pluck it. Let me show you guys. So this is the wig. I just went and pulled out all the wigs I have and I realized I have two of this exact same style um so they just be sitting there so I'm about to pluck this some more right here pluck it back I have some acetone I'm gonna soak off my nails and get myself back together like I need to give my fingers a break that's why I haven't gone and got my nails done but this is bad so I'm going to soak them off because they, they hurt now because they're so long. I'm going to soak them off and clean my nails up and everything. So I'm about to do this wig. Um, I'm going to pluck it and everything. And then I am going to, um, then I'm going to hot curl it. So I have like everything right here at the flat iron to give me my part that I need right there. And I have this one, um, I have a longer wig as well. See, this is the next one that is just like this one I have, which is crazy. I didn't know I had two of them. And then this one is a longer one. All from the same um love me, love me hair or something like that. Love me something. Yeah. So yeah, so let me work on that. Um, should I record this? Uh, let me go get let me get the camera so I can record some of this and I need to I'm trying to do this because I have a um, content that I need to shoot um, I'm late on the video I should have already done the video but I wanted to use the product before I did a video on it so that I can be truthfully speaking about what I experienced with the product um, I didn't just want to jump on there and be, they sent me videos that other people did. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like I need to experience this product first. So I experienced the product and I love it. So now I can true, like I can speak from experience when I'm speaking about it. Right. So, yeah. So let me work on this wig. So that's why I'm doing this wig. Plus I had to get the braids out my hair. I wash my hair. My hair feels so nice and clean right now. So I'm happy with that. But let me work on this wig. My stand for this camera is downstairs. I don't think I have a... I don't think I have a stand. Let me see how I'm going to prop you guys up. If not, I'll show you after I am finished with the wig. And then we're going to do probably a little bit of makeup. Probably I'd like do my eyebrows and braid my hair back so that I can drop this wig on, okay? So let me see if I can prop you guys up. If not, I don't think I have, I don't have the stand for this camera is downstairs. And, oh, my son have my other stand. Let me see if I find a stand. Yeah, he massive. You're large.
Contraption going on here with a setup. <laughs> this setup is a setup, okay, guys. I give up. Ugh. I give up. Okay, I give up. So. Uh. Okay, so guys, let me braid down my hair so that I can um, so I can put on this wig on my head. I'm gonna braid it back, and then um, let me braid it back. Let me put the wig on. We'll, I'll, put, I'll come back when I'm ready to put the wig on and um, do just a slight, just a little makeup, not much. Um, yeah let me let me come back because 
this contraption I have going on. My phone, because I'm not using, I don't know why I don't just use my camera. But my phone and this light I have attached to this phone, it keep dropping and dropping and dropping. And, um, yeah, so let me let the light itself charge. Let me braid back my hair and then um, I'll be back. Okay. And I am so sorry for this. I don't want to be putting out these kind of videos no more. Like, I have to laugh because as soon as I was telling y'all, the damn thing just dropped. Okay? So, yeah. So, I'll be right back. Okay? Okay. So, I braided back my hair. I thought I had some caps. I don't have any caps. So, I'm just putting it, I'm not going anywhere. So, I am just going to, um, I am going to, my face feel real oily and stuff from, um, when I was putting this oil in my hair, when I was blow drying my hair. So, Ugh. It feels real oily. So let me try to put this wig on now and see if I need to frame it to my face with the curling iron, with the flat iron, sorry. So guys, how have your week been going? You want to see this video on Friday, on Thursday, hopefully. If I don't have issues uploading again, um, I keep getting copyright strikes. Um, not strikes, but I'm trying to like get new music for my the channel, and ugh. and I'm trying to use a new um. Not that anything is wrong with the one I was using, but I wanted to use start using um, CapCut because it's also a good um, it's also a good app to use. Oh my god! I'm trying to take this wig off this thing. It's also a good app to use for social media itself, for like um, to do Instagram reels and stuff like that. So I want to get more proficient in using it. Um, I've had it for a while, but never used it because it was intimidating. I don't know why. Because the other program that I use is more complex. The one that I use now, uh, which is Power Director, that is more complex. And I don't know why I was nervous. But all those interface, they're similar. They're very similar. Um... So, I had so many pins in this thing. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, let us put it on. Let me snap this. I always need these. Cause my hair big, but ain't that big. It um, ain't that big. Okay, and it also has a band. Okay. Guys, I haven't put a wig on in so long. When I tell you, I just did this all wrong. 
Now I remember why I stopped wearing this. I wasn't wearing this wig. Ugh. I, ouch. I just remembered. I don't do baby hairs because I ain't no damn baby. I, I, I dislike baby hairs. Like, I'm a grown woman. What am I doing with baby hairs? So, no, you're not going to see any baby hairs. Okay, y'all. Now I remember why I stopped wearing this wig. Because I could never get it sit right on my head. It needs to, like, I guess pull back right there. But when I pull it back, then you see my hair. Okay, you guys see, you see, that's why I didn't wear this wig, because of that, because I think this one I had cut it too short, um, going on here hmm are these plugs not working oh I didn't know because one of these lights in my bathroom stopped working so I guess my plugs this plug set over here doesn't work either I didn't know that I did not know that these plugs in this bathroom were not working. Okay. Look at where I bought these. I think I bought these from TikTok. They are to draw on your eyebrows, your, like define your eyelashes, your eyebrows. I plan my own story, but things don't always work that way. And mama done told me, don't ever try to force no one to stay. And life is full of changes. Then sometimes the things you love the most, you have to let it go. Do it without the mirror because I can't see close. Must be amputated. So when you make it, you'll understand the word. So for those who want to depart, we will say this from the heart. We will say this from the heart. Listen, guys, I haven't done my makeup. Trust the process, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. I haven't done my makeup in years. Like, and help you to prosper. Bless you with the good things life has to offer. That's what I ask for as I pray for you. Because God knows best. Life is a journey. Ups and downs and trying times. Yes, it can get lonely. Some you love will stay behind. But that I don't grow me. And time is a 
nothing you can't press rewind. So make the best while you have it. Then they say you must obey and count your blessings one by one. But things do evolve and problems are solved. So okay, guys, I'm going to have to go back in the bedroom because this. My phone is about to die and none of these plugs is working in here. So I'm gonna have to move everything just because I want to film this, show this to you guys. Um, so let me relocate. I used to be a pro on my eyebrows. A pro. Guys, normally this is as far as I go. Let me turn this TV down. I just can't seem to get back into putting makeup on. All I would do next is just put this powder on and I'm done. I'm so serious. Guys, I tried. You guys watch me and I tried. I was going to put foundation on and all of that. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get back to it. I, promise. I ain't promise nothing, but I'm going to get back to it. I am. Jesus. Now, I used to be real good at this part. Let me see if I lost this too. Yes, I didn't lose that part. <laughs> I need to give my face some dimension.
Okay, guys. I don't even have all my brushes here, like... It's not the right brush. It's a blush. I love this blush. Okay. I don't want to put no highlights on my face. I don't want my face needs to look as natural as possible, guys, because of the type of um, content I'm about to film. So I can't look like I went and put on a whole face of makeup. Okay. So let me just put some. I'm gonna put this on my lips. My lips natural looking. I should put like some curls in this and like just in the front to make it like curl back like that what you guys think should I like put some curls in it just the front part to kind of like pull it like it's, because it's not to me it's not falling right around my face so I want to um What you guys think? I need to wash these brushes. I need to um Yeah. See guys, I can look good. <laughs> I can look half decent, can't I? I don't know when I lost myself, but at some point in this journey, I lost myself. Okay, so let me go put on the curling eye because I don't like I don't like how this is falling. Now I remember why I, I stopped wearing this. I either need to trim it to, to fall like this. I need to trim it down. Um. I either need to do that or um, I'm going to try to like flip it back first, see if I like that. If I don't like that, then I'm going to trim it so it can frame better. It's like the front hair is too long. This is too, too long. Okay. Let me go get the, the whatchamacallit. Okay, guys. So I've decided to not even try to do that flip. I'm not going to like it. I know me. I like when things frame my face. I can't see myself liking this being flipped backwards like that. I can't see it. Um, so I am going to go ahead and I am going to trim this to my face, okay? See, that's what I like that. See that? See how much better that looks? <laughs> I mean, compared to this, like, what is this? <laughs> Literally cut nothing. <laughs> I told y'all this side is always 
I wish I had done this when it was on the mannequin. Oh my God, it's not cut here. I don't know what's wrong, but this is not on. Um, yeah. The scissors is not cutting on this side. Let me go get my own scissors. This light needs to charge, so it's not staying on. happening i'm done i am done um let me go shoot the content before let me put i have to put my phone to charge and this light to charge because i need it to shoot the content so i could use my my camera but then i'm gonna have to transfer it to my phone to edit it because like i told you guys this is for tiktok it's not for youtube so i want to do the filming on my um phone so let me put this to charge and um put this light to charge and uh and i'll see you guys tomorrow so this is my final look this is how i do uh natural beat basically um and see the light is gone so on that note bye bye hey y'all so I'm sitting here looking at this artwork and I don't know if it's lazy kicking in or I don't know if I like the artwork if I don't. I didn't do what was planned because I saw a different option that was easier. So I used the other option. And now I don't know, right? So I'm going to show you guys the artwork and I'm going to take a picture of it too and put this, the issue I'm having if I don't know how to, if to leave the artwork as is with no frame or to go ahead and put a frame around it. This is the smaller piece. So I'm going to show it to you guys and let me know what you guys think I should do. Okay. I'm asking for you guys opinion which means your opinion matters so please utilize this opportunity 
to advise me, okay? Okay? So comment down below and let me know what you think I should do. Now let's look at the artwork. Guys, this is the small one and this is the big black one. That's the big black one that I do not have a problem with. That one is fine. This one above is what I have a problem with. Do I leave it like this? Or do I go ahead and put a black frame around it? What do you guys think? So I had this artwork from before. All I did is recolored it. I showed you guys this in the last video. What do you guys think I should do? Should I? It's gonna be on the wall and it's gonna be about, oh God, my hand is not strong enough. Oh, child. It's gonna be about that away from that one same color wall let me see if i can push my camera out there we go okay so that is what you're gonna have what do you guys think what do you guys think should i leave it oh, oh, oh. Should I, should I leave it like this with no frame or should I go ahead and frame it? And I'm here thinking now, I don't know if I like it with the space. I'm thinking to let it sit right on top of this one on the wall to make it look like one long artwork that transitions into something else. That's another idea. Do you guys think I should put it up? Like this on the wall to look like one six foot piece that continues because they're the same width or should I go ahead and put the black frame around that one and put the two inch space in between so this is another idea that I just mentioned that I didn't think about before uh, what do you guys think and do you guys even like this I've been having a hard time. I don't know if I'm having a hard time because I was speaking to my um, girlfriend and I was telling her I think that I'm having a hard time with it because I'm still seeing what it used to look like. If you understand what I'm trying to say. This used to be very glamzy. So the part that's black now used to be blue crystals. And then off on each side of it used to have silver glitters child it was glitzy and I don't know part of me is still seeing that even though I have completely changed the color of this thing but a part of me is still seeing those colors um and that's why I can't separate it I mean I like it I like the piece you see what I'm saying? I like the piece. I'm not saying I don't like the piece. But I need to hurry up and figure it out. Um, it's been sitting here all week. Um, and I haven't done nothing with it. And that's because I'm indecisive as to what I need to do. If Should I just go ahead and hang them like this? Or should I put the black frame around it? If I put the black frame around it, I'm have to. I'm going to have to... Um... I'm going to have to create a groove in the frame so that this can lay on the back of the frame. Um, because this artwork is the same width. It's off by like an eighth of an inch or something, which is not much. So I think if I put the frame around it, yeah, I have to indent. I'm going to have to cut more. I'm going to have to do more precise cut cutting for me to do that. And mentally, I'm not there. 
So that's why I'm asking you guys that question. Should I, um, do you think it, I mean, I don't know. I think it looks, now that I'm thinking to leave them like touching each other, I didn't think on that before. I'm thinking to do that. And if I don't like it, I can always just take, take it down. Like, like you see, let me show you guys. You see how, you see how those turned that one? Turn out and that one over there. I like how minimalistic that is. I like how minimalistic this is. Oh, I moved that plastic. I like how minimalistic this is. This is not minimalistic. And I don't know if that's what's bothering me. So there's certain things that's bothering me, but I can't pinpoint what it is. But at the end of the day, I like the artwork. I don't know if I like the look uh, for what I'm trying to do. I don't know if the look works. I think I'm overthinking it. Like my girlfriend says, she said she think I'm overthinking it. Um, she liked it. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Seriously, what do you guys think? Leave it like that or put a frame around it? What do you guys think? Comment down below. Tell me, put a frame around it or leave it like that? If you guys don't leave a comment, I'm never going to ask you guys anything ever again. And you would not feel included ever again. <laughs> and I'm not playing. <laughs> but I need to know because I need to clean back up my dining room. Look at my table. The table is still the same for over a week now. I need to tidy back up my dining room. Um... And why I haven't cleaned it up yet? Because I'm like, oh, well, you're going to have to mess it up because you have to go put that frame together. And now I'm like, I don't feel like putting the frame together. I don't want to put the frame together. So I just go ahead and paint my doggone wall and hang this artwork before it never gets hung. Okay? So. Let me know. Comment down below. And let me know what is your thoughts. What you guys think I should do. I'm going to take a picture of it and then I'm going to take a picture of the wall and I'm going to go ahead and put it on that wall and see. I'm thinking if I leave it like this, I would need to put a picture light over it. I think it being up like this without a picture light is not going to work. So if I put a picture light up there, I can put a battery operated picture light, but then I'm going to need to get, you know, like when you go into those stores and they have that thing you can reach up and grab, I will need to get one of those to be able to take the light down when I need to charge it versus bringing that ladder inside. The ladder is extremely heavy. Um, yeah, I have a ladder that can go that tall. But it's very heavy. So. I'm asking for your opinion guys. So give me your opinion please. Yeah. Give me your opinion. What do you guys think I should do? I'm liking it like this. With the all black to the bottom. With that one touching it on the top. But I think it's going to be missing a picture like this. If I put it up there like this, like something is going to be missing about it. I'm going to be looking up there and something is going to be missing. So I would need to put a picture light. So I'm going to take a picture of this. I'm going to put it in Photoshop. I'm going to add it on the wall. And then I am going to add a picture light to show you guys my different. I'm going to show you guys all the options that I have. So you guys are gonna see, so tell me, I'm gonna label it option one, option two, option three. Do you like this option? So let me let me put that part in. Do you guys like this option? This is option one. Option one is to put it up there with a frame and put the two inch spacing in between it, no picture light. Option two is to put it up there like this with no frame, but a picture light. And I don't think there's no more option. Oh, and then option number three would be to put it up there like this with no space in between and no picture light. So, 
we have the three options. Tell me which option do you think? Okay. Hey, y'all. Listen, I thought I had some acetone, but I don't have any acetone. I was going to soak these off. So now, I have um the, pol the polish remover. I could have bought as I could have bought some acetone, but I thought I had acetone at home. I have everything else except acetone. I got paint remover, paint tinner. I got all kinds of stuff, but no acetone, so I can soak these off. So, um, I don't know. I got like this a base coat to do do my nails, like um, I got this color. So I'm going to try to, this, I got this, it's Ruby Kisses. I haven't bought these, I want to say probably, oh my God, probably five, six years I bought nail polish. Probably longer than that. The last time I bought nail polish, I only bought Claire because I was given um, Baba manicure. But... So this is nail protective. This is a primer. So I'll put this on first. And then this one. And I had already taken up this one. I should have just put it back. But I'll put this on as a top coat. It says it dries two times faster. Um, we'll see about that la. But, and I got a, um, a file. A true fact about me that a lot of people don't know is that I was a nail tech. <laughs> I had, a, I actually had a shop. I had a nail shop 20, 25 years ago. No, yeah, 25 years ago. My daughter is 24. My daughter is 24. Yeah, she goes with the um whatever year we're in. We're in 2024. So it was 25 because it was before she was born. So it was almost 25 years ago, I had my own nail shop. I used to do nails. Okay? I used to do acrylic nails. I used to put on all those designs and everything. So that's a true fact about me that a lot of people don't know. Okay, now it's not good to just dig these off the way I'm about to, but I'm going to have to because I ain't got no acetone. So I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to come back when I am filing. I hope they come off easy and they don't hurt. Cause I didn't cut my nails down. My nails are long. I don't like that. You see how this one is? So I'm gonna make all of them that that height. And I am going to do my toes. And I'm gonna get my pedicure um then. And I'm gonna do my pedicure. I'm gonna do all of that. I need to keep my mind busy. So while I have my feet soaking, I can edit this video so I can get this video up for you guys tomorrow. to like lift it once you can get under there I wish I had like a something thin something thin I can push and push it straight across ah It came off. See? Now. I know people like their nails long like that. I don't. I don't like long nails for a few reasons. I like how they look. But I can't. I like when I can function. And I can't function with long nails. I can't braid my hair. I can't braid. 
I can't braid, but I can't braid tight. I can't braid baby Zyla hair. When I'm twisting baby hair, I can't twist his hair that good. Um, what else I can't do? Oh, when I'm making dumplings, I hate when the dough gets in your nail. And I make dumplings often. So that's that's another reason for cooking. I don't like the long nails because I don't love stuff getting under there. So every time I go get my nails done, they cut it down to this length. Okay? So, so yeah. Okay, one hand down. I'm so mad because right here got pulled off. I wanted to really have it square because I like my nails square. So now I'm about to work on this hand. This one I got to do five because all five of them are still on there. This is when you know your nails were done good now. When they growing out and you still... I'm tired of dropping y'all. So, I'm going to use my correct stand. Because this foolishness I got going on. I understand why that just dropped because it wasn't even touching. like, And I wasn't touching it. Okay, guys. They all off. That was painful. I'm now going to cut them down. Some of them got cut too short. But it was easier to cut the, the front so that I can get them off. But my advice would be to... I'm watching the video. I don't know if I'm going to get copyright, so let me pause that. Okay. My advice is to not do that. Not do what I just did, but soak them to get them off. Because when you're taking them off like that, you're taking off layers of your nail. So this part of my nail is going to be weak until it grows out to this part right here. All of this is going to be weak. So every time it grows out, they're going to keep breaking, breaking, breaking until it grows all the way out. It's starting to get warm, and I had slippers on today. And I was looking down at my toes like, child, child. One of my toes, my, one of my big toes, I was like, child, hide me, hide me. Okay. So, this has two sides. This has a rough side and it has a smoother side. I'm going to use a rough side first to sand them down. And then you go in and buff it off with the smooth side. And I think I have a buffer in there. So, so you want to kind of do like that. Um... You're trying to even it out. And then I'm going to go to the smoother side. I have a smoother one of these. I'm going to have to pull it out because this side is, this is not smooth enough. Okay. And then you want to the edges like that. Mm -hmm. you want to this. Okay, so basically you're going to do all of them like that, and then I'm going to get the buffer to buff it down for it to be smoother so that it, the fingernail polish will be smooth on it. So let me do that and get back with you guys.
the recipe for this homemade DIY bread. After you have mixed this really well, you want to cover it and put it in a warm place for one hour. After an hour, you're gonna put some oil on your surface and then you're gonna pull the dough out of the bowl and put it onto the surface. Now, this is how you knead. You're going to fold it, fold it, stretch it. Fold it, fold it, stretch. Fold it, fold it, stretch. You're gonna do that for probably about seven times, I would say, seven is a good number. And then you're gonna grease your pan. Whatever pan, if you wanna do a loaf bread, then you put it in a loaf pan. I only had this cookie sheet, so that's why I'm putting it on there. And I'm separating mine and creating two loaves, okay? Now you wanna cover it again and put it to rest for about 30 minutes. After that, she would have rise, Pop it in the oven, and if you got it right, this is what you should get. Some beautiful looking bread that tastes amazing. And I love how crispy the crust on this was. I had mines with some tuna that I made with some lettuce in it. Guys, this turned out amazing. Let me know down in the description if you're gonna try it. See you on my next one. Always remember, never let your budget dictate your style, but create a space that you love. Design for life.